At the end of forty days, Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark, and he sent out a raven to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried off from the earth. Then he sent out a dove to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch, and it returned to him in the ark, for there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove and drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more and again sent the dove out from the ark. In the evening, the dove came back to him, and there in its bill was a plot of olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days and then released the dove once more, and this time it did not come back. In the six hundred and first year of Noah's life, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water began to dry up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering of the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was drying up. In the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Go out of the ark together with your wife and your sons and your sons' wives. Bring out with you every living thing that is with you, all bodily creatures, baby birds or animals or creeping things of the earth, and let them abound on the earth, breeding and multiplying on it. So Noah came out together with his wife and his sons and his sons' wives, and all the animals, wild and tame, all the birds and all the creeping creatures of the earth, left the ark, one kind after another. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird, he offered holocaust on the altar. When the Lord smelled the sweet odor, he said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man, since the desires of man's heart are evil from the start, nor will I ever again strike down all living beings as I have done. As long as the earth lasts, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fertile and multiply and fill the earth. Dread fear of you shall come upon all the animals of the earth, and all the birds of the air, upon all the creatures that move about on the ground, and all the fishes of the sea. Into your power they are delivered. Every creature that is alive shall be yours to eat. I give them all to you as I did the green plants. Only flesh with its lifeblood still in it you shall not eat. For your own lifeblood too, I will demand an accounting. From every animal I will demand it. And from man in regard to his fellow man, I will demand an accounting for human life. If anyone sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God has man been made. Be fertile then and multiply, abound on the earth and subdue it. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, all the birds and the various tame and wild animals that were with you, and came out from the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, This is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living beings, so that the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. As the bow appears in the clouds, I will see it and recall the everlasting covenant that I have established between God and all living beings, all mortal creatures that are on earth. God told Noah, 
This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all mortal creatures that are on earth. 